This video is on the importance of the PSAT. The PSAT will be taken by grades 9, 10, and 11. Ninth grade students will be taking the PSAT 8-9, and 10th and 11th grade students will be taking the PSAT NMSQT. The PSAT 8-9 is different from the PSAT NMSQT. The PSAT 8-9 gives students an advantage because they will be familiar with the format of the PSAT, NMSQT, and the SAT when they take these tests. The PSAT is a standardized test administered by the College Board and co-sponsored by the National Merit Scholarship Corporation. The PSAT is very similar to the SAT and it is important to take because it gives students a look at what they will be facing on the SAT. The PSAT generally targets 8th through 11th graders. It is a multiple choice test that measures college and career readiness and prepares students for the SAT. PSAT scores are reported on a common vertical scale, which allows teachers to easily measure student progress. The PSAT is important because it provides a first look at where you score, as well as introducing you to the layout, time frame, and question types on the SAT. The PSAT that is taken junior year is what qualifies you for National Merit Scholarships and serves as an entry point to over $240 million in scholarship dollars. The PSAT helps you identify your stronger skills and identify what skills you need to work on and measures your college and career readiness. The PSAT also identifies what AP courses you might be ready to take. These courses are also managed by College Board, the same company that manages the PSAT. The PSAT provides college and career planning tools to prepare you for your future, and it provides admission and financial information for colleges. PSAT Testing Information The PSAT will be taken at Lake Placid High School on October 10, 2018. Your testing location will be term determined by your last name, and you must be at that location the morning of October 10. Instead of going to your first period class, you will arrive at this location. Testing lists will be posted in the Media Center windows, outside guidance, on a bulletin board in the new building and next to Deputy Mulligan's office. These lists will tell you where you will be testing and who your testing coordinator will be. General facts about the PSAT 8-9. The PSAT 8-9 is 2 hours and 25 minutes long. There is no penalty for guessing or for blank responses, so it is best to put down any answer that you think might be true, even if you are not sure. Students have access to personalized SAT practice through Khan Academy with students' own PSAT scores. Once you get your PSAT scores, you can link these through Khan Academy, and it will give you personalized practice for the SAT. Scale ranges for the PSAT 8-9 are from 240 to 1440 for the total score. The PSAT 8-9 establishes a baseline measurement for college and career readiness. The PSAT NMSQT is 2 hours and 45 minutes long. There is no penalty for guessing or blank responses, just like the PSAT 8-9, so it is best to put down any answer you think may be correct, even if you're not sure. Students will also have access to personalized SAT practice through Khan Academy, just like with the PSAT 8-9. The scale ranges for the scores are slightly different than the PSAT 9. These are 320 to 1520 for the PSAT NMSQT. The PSAT NMSQT taken your junior year is very important because it serves as an entry point to the National Merit Scholarships, which is over $240 million in scholarships. Skills tested. PSAT testing is based on information you have learned in high school and skills that you will need to succeed in college. Skills tested include reading, writing and language, and math. With these skills, you need to know how to answer multiple choice questions, short answer questions, interpret evidence, and how to use a calculator. These skills are essential for success in high school and college and career. Taking the PSAT seriously will help you prepare for the SAT test. What is on the test? The PSAT 8-9 has three sections, a reading section, a writing and language section, and a math section. During the reading section, there will be 42 passage-based multiple choice questions, and you'll have 55 minutes to complete these sections.
During the writing and language portion, you will have 40 passage-based multiple choice questions, and you will have 30 minutes to complete this segment. During the math portion, you will have 38 multiple choice questions and 7 grid-in questions with 60 minutes to complete this segment. For the PSAT and MSQT, there will be three segments as well. A reading segment, a writing and language segment, and a math segment. During the reading segment, there will be 47 passage-based multiple choice questions, and you will have 60 minutes to take this portion of the test. During the writing and language portion, there are 45 passage-based multiple choice questions, and you will have 35 minutes to complete this portion of the test. During the math segment, there will be 40 multiple choice questions and 8 grid-in questions, and you will have 70 minutes to complete this portion of the test. Some testing tips for taking the PSAT. Take multiple practice tests. Practice tests can be found online for free through multiple websites, including satpractice.org and khanacademy.com. And you can also buy study guides that include practice tests for each section and questions to study. Take multiple practice tests and assess your strengths and weaknesses after each one. The night before the test. Do not cram before the test. It will not help you and it will only make you tired. You don't lose points for wrong or blank answers. So as stated, you should put down any answer that you think might be right, even if you are not sure. If you can make an educated guess, you can boost the chance of getting the question right. On the day of the test, there will be no electronic devices allowed. Try to sleep well the night before and eat a nutritious breakfast the morning of the test. Bring a snack and a water in case you get hungry during breaks. Come prepared with at least two number two pencils and an approved calculator. Mechanical pencils are not allowed. During the test, skip questions you struggle with, and if you have time at the end of the section, go back to complete. Very soon, the peer leader team will be coming to study halls of 9th and 10th graders to help link the Khan Academy and College Board accounts. Also, we will be coming to the 11th grade English 3 classes to help link Colin Academy and College Board accounts. There will also be a presentation on understanding and using your PSAT scores to prepare for college and career. Good luck on your test.